Welcome back to a new video here in Swad. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this flicker on effect. Now, this effect is actually super easy. So we're going to start by creating a new fusion composition. You can name these however you want. Once you're inside fusion, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background here and you can actually leave these or choose the colors that you want already. Or you can make these transparent so that you can put these over some other type of footage later on in your editing page but this is up to you now it's super easy so we're gonna add a text effect here and we're gonna connect these to our background now in here we're gonna write the text that we want so in this case we're gonna write text on i guess and you can do all the customizations of the font and stuff like that that you want it's really up to you and then we're gonna go to the shading section here we're gonna press where it says one we're gonna add a second element we're gonna enable these and by default it's gonna be on the edge one or the outline text which is what we want to use but we want the color to be white but also we want this to be a little bit thinner so we're gonna adjust this like that and then we can change the color after that it's ready we can go on and add the next step which is gonna right click here where you write your text and we're gonna add a follower that's going to create a modifier here and we're going to go to the modifier here in the order section. We're going to press where it says automatic and we're going to change these to random, but one by one. And then the delay type, make sure it's between each character. Now here, this delay is different than the duplicate delay on the duplicate. If you put this negative, then it's going to happen a few frames afterwards in this case it has to be positive so that the delay happens a few frames afterwards otherwise it's gonna start already with a few of them filled up so here we're gonna you're not gonna see any changes happening when we move these because for the changes to be seen you actually need to create keyframes and animate things so we're gonna create a key we're gonna set this opacity to zero and you will see it disappear now then we're going to go to 10 and then we can put this one. Now you can already see here that not all of them are on at the same time because of the delay effect like that. Now, this is a little bit too slow and let me show you the timing stuff. If you put minus two, you will see that it already shows up at the first frame with a bunch of them uh, filled up. So we don't want that. We're going to leave this at two. We're going to go to the shading section again. And we're going to go to the spline here, select these and here you can select these two and you can choose either or in this case, we're going to step out. So now the text is going to show up. Now the flicker effect is going to show up a little bit more punchy rather than just like a linear type of um, animation when it shows up. Now, what we also can do is add a few more keyframes here. For example, if you want this to go back to zero and want them to disappear again and then back to normal at one then we're gonna have that now if you want to loop these all you have to do is select these like that and then we're gonna press the set loop option and then this will continue to do that animation all the time until the fusion composition ends in this case i don't want these to loop so we're gonna go let it be a few frames and then we can create the outro animation which is gonna be creating an opacity key from here again and we're going to bring this down to zero and similar to the first one that we did we're going to click step in or step out again this is optional you can leave these you can press f if you want it's just going to be a little bit different it's really up to you and what you like in the style that you like in that case i'm going to leave it like that and so it's a little bit different and the last touch that we can do is go to the settings here and go to the motion blur section and add a little bit of motion blur. Now it seems to be that there's a now it seems that a big storm is coming my way right now, so I better get done with this video. And that is actually pretty much how you would add this flicker on effect. You can play around and add more things, but this is how you can do that. Oh, and one last thing is we're gonna add a soft glow effect, and then we can increase the gain a little bit. And increase the glow size so now it looks more like a sort of like a neon sign and that is how you can do this quick flicker 
tax effect. Hopefully you can use these on some of your projects and that you find this video helpful. And I will see you in the next video here in Suavi. Bye.